They look like a married couple who just fought. Oh, they're siblings. How do you know? It's the only relationship that makes sense. You should be going to the buy not me. I can't. I have to finish my dissertation. Oh, come on. I just wish you would stop agonizing over it. Your advisor likes you. That's everything. Just get it done. I can't. It's my work. I have to take it seriously. Ten people are actually going to read it. Another ten will quote it without ever reading more than the title. Maybe four will okay. read the intro chapter. This is too depressing. I told you it's strong. I'll live. We don't talk much. You know that. That's why I sent you here, isn't it? I'm not a spy. Isn't it possible that I just wanted to see you? <laughs> I've been here for five years. It's because you're leaving, silly. And you know I just cannot drop everything to come hang out with you. You can come. I have room. You can bring bed. Hang. My husband and I will not stay in that box you call an apartment. Here we go again. Why can't you just come back to D.C., move back in with mom and dad, see how things go? You know, I love them, but trust me, I'm much happier here. And now you're leaving. Do you know what they'll do to you there? Nothing. Stop listening to Baba. Uncle Bonnie is still there. He doesn't want you to come back. That was 40 years ago. I'm just acting in a play. The young people over there, they don't want a theocracy anymore. Yeah, but I know you. You're going to start trouble and join I'm a protest. Not, I swear. You could not hide chocolate from me when you were eight. Don't try to lie to me now. Sometimes I feel like I have two mothers. Whose fault is that? Makes me miss my little brother even less. Where is he now? Is he at school? Hopefully. The little shit never listened to me, though. If he drops out again, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill him. Boys are so unruly, I don't understand it. Since it's your thesis subject, I would hope you understand it. Boyhood and masculinity make no sense to anyone. I know. Well, I'm off to find my unruly Prince Charming. In Dubai? Go where the wealth is. You've got to be kidding. Why not? I mean, it's not like all shakes and playboy billionaires there. Okay, but you can't get married based on wealth alone. No, of course not. I have standards. Teeth, good vocabulary, a nice car. You're describing a servant. Well, that would be actually even better than a husband. I can't tell when you're being serious. Well, more than you know. My last three boyfriends have been these flaky artist types. I'm a magnet for freaks. Okay, they want all freaks. Why did you do that? Because you want the sweeter cup. See, you are too nice. You are going to get in trouble over there trying to help somebody. That's not me anymore. It's not what Paragon says. Don't talk to her. She's crazy. Of course she's crazy. That's why you love her. Is that what she told you? She nearly made you crazy. <laughs> That's why I broke up with her. Then why do you call her once a week? I don't know. See if she's okay. You know, we're not all as lucky as you. What's that supposed to mean? Sometimes I feel a little bit judged by you. I'm not judging you. You come from a big family. You had servants, had a chauffeur. You found a great husband at university. What has that got to do with anything? You're not everybody has a perfect family life. What does that mean? I didn't have anything growing up. You have no idea. Do you really think we didn't suffer? There were six of us living in a flat till my dad made middle management. You found your husband, the one that is the right man, the one mom and dad love. It's not the same. Is that what you think? It's all wine and roses? You can't know unless you were there. Well, what's so difficult? He adores you, gets you whatever you want, he puts up with the hours you put in. We struggled every day. I'd like to live your version of my life for one day. No, I just want to live my version of my life. Once you finish your PhD, you'll have everything you want. Rahul left me. I'm having an affair. What? I think my home is New York. And I don't necessarily mean United States. I mean New York. I have an immense love for my country and my city. My parents are still living there, my brother also. Um, so I miss, more than anything, I miss my country because my family is there. Uh, a lot of people come here to make money, to have a better life, uh, basic necessities that are not being met wherever they're from. Other people like me, we come 
because we want also a better life, but because we have a dream, a very specific dream that we have passion for. I think I'm very lucky that I ended up in New York because it's it's a it's a place where there's a lot of different kinds of cultures and different kinds of upbringings and um, and that helps. That helps for the transition. Also, Mexico City is a place where there's a lot of cultures, there's a lot of people from a lot of places in the world. Um, and so in that, in that sense, it was not that difficult of a change. But I wish in general people would understand that whoever comes here is looking for something better. Um, you don't live your family and you don't live what you know and what you're probably comfortable with to a certain degree to the unknown just because.